CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. We begin tonight on Pender Island, one of the Gulf Islands' most popular destinations, now in the midst of an intense and ugly battle over mining. Homeowners in the tight-knit island community say their properties and their safety are being threatened by two modern-day prospectors. And depending where you live, what's happening on Pender could happen in your neighborhood or your yard. CTV's Joe Perkins went to Pender Island to investigate. He joins us live with the story. Joe. Hudson, the two men have legally staked more than 20 claims on the island, many on private property, and say they're planning to dig for fortunes. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> Someone on Pender Island has a sense of humor. It's a pick and a shovel and a pan. They're the kind of tools at the heart of a growing dispute. Ever yes. seen anything like this? No, no, not quite like this. In the past year, two men, Isaac McPhee and William Simons, have staked more than 20 mining claims covering nearly half of Pender Island. It's perfectly legal through the province's Mineral Tenure Act, and it's easy, you can do it online. So this is over here. One of the claims includes Gary Steve's property. Can you explain that to me? So you Provincial law requires claim holders to give notice before stepping on private property. But that's all. Property owners don't have the right to refuse. And people go, oh, hold on. You mean someone can come walking on my property? You know, then they get the the first surprise, then they get angry. And Steve says the two miners called and emailed the number of island homeowners sharing their plans to mine. But he says he was the only one to receive official notice from the province's mineral titles branch. They've given them misleading information, uh, inaccurate information, uh, and they've generally harassed people. We located Simons at his home. Hey guys, how you doing? Good. Joe Perkins from CTV News. Are you? He did not want to speak to us and instead directed us to his Facebook account, where he posted a lengthy message outlining his plans to mine on Steve's property. Isaac McPhee would not return our phone call. We wanted to ask him about the names of his claims, names such as "Ha Ha" and "It's Mine." There is another layer to this story, and it involves the police. You see, last week Isaac McPhee's trailer went up in flames, burning his mining tools. RCMP are investigating, but say foul play is not ruled out. Between the mining claims and the fire, Pender Island is in unfamiliar territory. It puts us on the map, but it's very upsetting. The island's trust council is asking the province to ban mining on all of the Gulf Islands. There are already areas of the province where mining rights cannot be claimed, including Greater Vancouver and Victoria. But for now, there is no indication the Gulf Islands will join the list. And on Pender... Did you, did you just see that this morning? With pickaxes popping up, it's no laughing matter. Provincial representatives visited Pender Island Tuesday to look into the situation. A spokesperson for the Energy Mines and Natural Gas Ministry says an explanation of the mining process was given to the two men and to concerned landowners with the hopes of resolving any disputes, but clearly from that story that hasn't happened quite yet. The Islands Trust has sent a province, uh, a letter rather, to the province. The province says it has not received a formal request to make the Gulf Islands a no mining zone. It just might. It might. Who knows? Uh, Joe Perkins reporting. Joe, thanks. You're welcome.